Hey. Okay, so really quite quickly, no Elsa, because I'm late, going to be late for the school run. So Elsa's a reactive dog. Even though she looks really cute. Um, she can also be quite compulsive about chasing her toy. So to remedy that, I'm changing the concept, the context in which I'm playing with the ball. Uh, and just play in general. Let me just move these messages. Awesome. So, number one, I've not got the ordinary toy that we play with, which is either the puller rings or the ball, and I've just got this rope, this scraggy little bit of rope. Okay? Um, so it's a different item, right? So we're building a new association. Uh, what I'm doing is rather than throwing it for her or playing tug with her, we are hiding it. So I'm going to ask Elsa to lie down. Down. And ask her to wait, wait. And then I am going to watch her to see if she moves. No. Naughty. I'm going to put her back where we started. And that's okay. These things come up. Down. Wait. And a note on that, if your dog ever breaks a weight, just reset them. It's no big deal. Wait. Down. Wait. And I'm going to hide it. Under some leaves. And I'm going to go back to my dog. I'm going to tell her, go find it. And she's going to search for it. So near and yet so far. Here, find it, Elsa. Yes, good girl. Awesome. So she's found it. So then I'm going to let her kind of run around and be proud of herself for finding it. She's massively excited by that. I'm going to let that excitement dissipate a little. She's a Mally, so that won't happen easily. <laughs> and then I'm going to ask her for an obedience command. Good girl. Elsa here. Sit. Sit. Good. Out. Good girl. Good. Sit. Good. Excellent. Uh, sit. Good. Down. Wait. And I'm going to do the same thing again. By playing in this way, I'm A, changing the association of the location that we've previously always played high energy fetch uh, chasing games in. And I'm also asking her to activate a different part of her brain, a more considered part of her brain rather than, oh, I've seen it and I'm going to chase it down. I'm going to get it. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to rag it. It's more considered. I'm going to find it. I'm going to smell. So you can start to do it in different locations. We've been doing a lot of hiding it under the leaves. So a lot of ground scenting to try and find it. Down. Good. Uh, but you can also hide it higher up. Like so. Down. Wait. Wait. Down. Wait. I'm not going to hide it in that tree now. Hide it in the tree. Go find it. So she's going to search for it. She's looking on the floor of it initially. And she's still fairly frantic in her searching, but that's okay. You can give your dog physical prompts if you've hidden it somewhere. Hi, Elsa. 
by just pointing at the area to encourage her to yesterday we hit it really high come here find it find it whoa <laughs> find it then try not to kill ourselves yeah good job so she found it in the tree awesome and again rinse lather repeat rinse lather repeat sometimes i might then throw it for her but the bulk of our play today is playing hide and find it hide it find it okay so yeah sometimes we might notice behaviors creeping in with our dogs that need changing previously when Elsa was really really reactive I used the toy a lot as a reinforcer because she really liked chasing and that served its purpose in that I could then use that toy to distract her and to reward her for not reacting at people um, the downside of that the pro was that it really worked yeah and she stopped uh, reacting at people uh, the downside to it was that she became obsessed with chasing the ball and obsessed with the toy so that then when we went out she wouldn't just walk like a normal dog she was really kind of zigzaggy constantly waiting for the reinforcer to be thrown and this is something that eventually started to irritate me when it came to me just wanting to do a regular walk with my dog good job so i thought to myself how can i break this pattern um and it's okay you know sometimes in life something works for a period of time and it's great and it serves its purpose but life is ever changing ever evolving um, and it's okay to look at it and think okay that served my, served its purpose at the time but now I want something different so I'm changing my training program and that's what I'm doing with my own dog Elsa oh. <laughs> good girl get it get it get it get it okay so yeah never be afraid to admit okay this needs tweaking this needs changing served its purpose at the time i'm going to do something about it because i want something different from life now that's okay um so yeah playing hide and seek with your dogs i guess okay bye